Hello, welcome back. Apparently the game is more complex than I thought, so you have a lot of quests, but the problem with this quest is that you have to read what the quest says and also read what the NPC says. So to get a good ending you probably need to read a lot about the game and you also need to follow a guide because from what I saw it's very hard to get the glory ending or whatever it's called. And we also have a lot of items, so mm, let's go over here. I didn't explore this side. By the way, if you're wondering about the boar, didn't give me much. I killed it and I think it gave me the starite ore chunk and some fire concentrate. You can cheese it by just attacking it outside of its range. Just attack it with the staff when you enter its lair. I mean, don't go inside the little arena, just attack it from outside. It will die. Ooh. Yeah, but the game, the game has so many cool mechanics like this. I mean, look at this area. It goes from cartoony to very serious. Damage Colossus score. Bion will know anything about it. So, I guess we can use the core to power the damaged Colossus near the... Hmm. It was a damaged Colossus, but I don't remember where it was. You know, the one that is kind of sitting on his back. Okay. Bion. Bion, I think he was the strong man. So if you want to invest the time and you want to read into it, you, if you want to find all of the documents, all of the quest items, all of the chests, this game is actually huge. But at the same time, it's not really content per se, it's more like exploration galore, I don't know. And this thing just kind of annoy me because look at how much time I have to spend in the hideout just to get to the places I need. I don't know why, I mean, the problem is the design, it's the design... I forgot what game used something like this. They just made huge levels so you would get lost, so you would think you have more to explore, but... <clears throat> it's just the same space, with a lot more walking. That should be enough. It's not your combat prop. if you are only good at fight. Thank you. If you are capable... I see. Yes. Oh, Doc I can give him the Doc Tag as well. Tag hmm. I've led many men, you know. I was a sin. Do you remember? Oh, Aporio. He was very. He always liked to repeat what I said. It looks like he fought for the. It really wasn't the best position for him. He wanted to join the. Adhe I told him he should stick with the lead. Do you think he. Regret? No. I feel sorry about what happened to Aporio. It would be far worse than just jo Oh, so you just get Starite or Silver? What? Ha! <laughs> Feel like sparring? Okay, do you use to use as weapons. Atreus and the War Axe, okay. Oh, the core of the statue, okay. This is so hard to find the right dialogue, why? Oh, relax, I found it in front of a broken Colossus. You need to go to sticks. Yeah, so, as you can see, it's just a lot of lore that you'll never be able to find out. Objective of the army. Yeah, look at this, come on! Shit. 
shifting stone. The okay. Glory of the three. Uh, let me check something on the Steam page. So I think I have all of the items I needed from the Argus Bazaar. It sounds like a Romanian name. I want to go back to the mill to use the key for granary key. Mm, yeah, I think I'll go there. As you can see, the game is a bit weird in the in the sense that it has all the content it needs, but it's so weirdly put in front of the player. I mean, I'm not. I don't want to complain all the time, but come on, you had everything you needed to make the game great. You just messed it up. I mean, make this area smaller. Uh, give more hints to the players, give them a proper menu or interface and kind of see that unused quest items or something because it makes me feel like I can use those quest items in an area or another but it doesn't give me the right indication. For example this one, it has the number 135 on it so he told me to go into the sticks to find more information about it. Wait, I thought I was there already. Uh, I guess I loaded the wrong save. I think the key will disappear after you use it, so... I don't know, if this game had fast travel to all of the points, it would be amazing. But as it is right now, it's just frustrating. <laughs> we don't even have a sign over the sewer entrances, we just have to run around until we find the right one. Yeah, this will lower the overall score of the game. I think it's a 7 out of 10. Yeah, maybe even lower if uh, the second part of the game doesn't pick up. So let's go to the granary. I also want to see if something changes in your adventures. Okay, I'm <laughs> in a rat race now. I guess it just disappears. There is still a big possibility you might die. That's really strange. I thought I really went into the storeroom. And there was not much over there. Hmm. I guess I'll have to go again. But I also want to visit a new area in this episode. It's also very confusing, I, th I think the developers should just give up on uh, their uh, weird notion of, you know, explore until you find everything else. Just give me an exclamation mark on, on doors I can interact with and that are important for the quest, it's okay. It will be a lot more useful than wandering around find knocking on all of the doors. Excuse me, can you move out of the way? Thank you. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is only good if you remember the right pathway. Also blame the game for uh, all of its weird things like, you know, you complete a quest, go back to the hub. But it doesn't let you explore the rest of the area. Meaning, you will be able to find alternate roads, but you will simply not be able to access them. Because like I said, the game will make you go away. There was an alternative pathway to the swamps or whatever area that was. But I didn't take it. I don't think I even showed it on video because I just had to go to the quest area. It's okay, it's okay. 
Okay, so this is the game's weak point. I think the developer should look at the game again and just put exclamation marks on stuff you can interact with. And just make it easier for the player to know if they have to do something else in an area or not. I think that dog will still kill me in a few hits, so no, not yet. Um, if you're wondering, I think I didn't explain this properly, but if you play on the challenge mode, all your resistance are, ne as are negative. If you play on an easier difficulty... I'm not sure I can change... Oh, I can change it over here. Your resistances will be a lot better. See? So that's another change or another difference between the various difficulty settings. So now, let me see. We have it on challenge, right? So that's why sometimes I'll die very fast on this difficulty. It's just because of the way the resistances are organized or, you know, how the game is kind of um, built on. I disagree with that one. I 100% disagree with that one. I think difficulty should mean a lot more things, not just, you know, oh, you take more damage, the enemies have more health. No, something else, more enemies, more challenges, new mechanics, stuff like that. Okay, so now we are in the upper granary. And the key will disappear if you use it, so I'm not sure why it didn't disappear when I used that one. Okay, I'll just have to go back to the amphitheater anyway, to open that door, even though I was there. Important item, how Shockland did. <laughs> they have chests of gold, why do they need house deeds? And let me guess, this will just loop on this direction and it will just let me open a few doors. Oh, that's different. Ah, yes, I can finally use number 3 again. <laughs> Pint of Stardust, okay. So as you can see, the game basically made me leave the area because I thought I was done with it. And then I come back and I can use the key and I completely forget about this aspect of the game because the game just forces you to go back, turn in the quest and then do whatever you want. And that's generally going back to another area. So I don't know, they're just making people believe the game has less content than it has. Because I definitely think you should come here after you destroy Bar. Oh, that's a nice statue over there. I think it all will also move. Maybe I can change the camera angles when that is happening. I don't know. <laughs> Little house over there. Hey, I was not ready for combat. Granary outpost, really? So yeah, this is the door you can open. Huh. <laughs> 
And also there are a lot of notes just lying on the floor, which again I don't really understand or like that thing. Is this a trap? Mm, doesn't seem like a trap. Just a lot of weird chains and hooks everywhere. I don't care, why do they have to use another language? I mean, it's a made-up language, what... What will people understand from it? Nothing at all. <laughs> Probably adds a lot to the game's lore, but when if you present it like that, I don't care. Okay, so this is just a, another loop around. If you don't have a very, very clear idea of what you're doing and where you're going, you'll be lost so many times you'll not even know if you're going the right way or not. So that's just a oh, big loop around. The true... Uh, what? Really? So this was the true... Kind of new area I didn't explore yet, but it seems like it goes on and on. Yeah, I guess we will have to play more of this area. Even though we're over leveled for it. So is this all new? I saw something glowing over here, or shining. Okay, let's get, back, let's get back into the game. Where am I? I should be able to destroy this, but... It doesn't work. Yeah, this will lead me to that. Hmm. Why can I destroy it? I thought you could destroy the barricades if you... Do I have to really switch to the hammer? That doesn't work then how? Or why? <laughs> then I guess this area doesn't have much of a point. Is this some kind of name tag? Yes it is, I guess I can give it to Biome. Bion. Okay, we had one more location to check out in this area. Looks like you can climb and go up there, but how? Oh, I hate games that have closed doors like this. So it gives you the impression that you can do a lot of things, but what? And how? Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe you're not supposed to go up there, but it really looks like you could. Yeah, I think the developer should just have made all of the doors to be open. We should be able to open all the doors.
Where's that? Wait, wait. <laughs> Where did that guy come from? I don't know, but we leave him alone. So it also gives you the impression that you can jump or climb a lot of things, but I don't find a lot of things to climb, to be honest. And why would they put this thing over here? I mean, you can climb it, but why? Just so you can cheese the enemies? I don't know. Let's just go back and try to go in the granary again. And sometimes you all you get is a big loop around and that's okay. We've been playing for 20 minutes and we're just exploring a place we hadn't been to, but apparently it's just empty. You find a few items and that's it. I don't know, it's cool that they introduced this, but I, I feel like I'm playing uh, Exploration Gothic right now. You get a lot of things to read, a lot of things to see, but nothing really matters. I don't think you can jump on that one. Oh, let's try again, maybe you can. Still, this is only the granary, it's not something important, probably we'll find a lot more interesting stuff later. So yeah, I don't think the game has platforming in the sense I imagine it, not jumping and finding secrets, I think most of the secrets are in plain sights, like that one with the golem core, yeah. Yeah. it doesn't let you do it. Hmm, okay, let's give it a one more try and then we'll go back to the amphitheater and open it. Without fast traveling again, like this is just a chore. <laughs> and all of the cool lore, it's kind of weird because you'll, you'll be reading the lore if you had more time. <laughs> if you can fast travel, you'll read the lore because you don't waste time like this. But as it is, you're just... Wasting time. So what did I achieve by coming to the upper granary? I got another dog tag. And another place to rest. Yeah. Maybe they'll introduce a new game plus where things will make a lot more sense. Look at this area, it's so beautiful. But apparently it does nothing. Yeah, I don't think we can make that jump, so let's stop trying. Now let's go back to the to the academy. Let me show you how hard it is to get back. Ah, this game has so much potential, but I think I understand why what happened with the game now. They were not clear about the difficulty, they were not very clear about the other settings either. And they're not clear about some of the enemies or the uh, optional enemies. Yeah. 
mai nu zici. What? No! Watch this stupid camera angle! No! Oh. I cannot believe they didn't test film. Apparently, the camera angle goes crazy if you go into that corner and then you cannot see anything and then you just die. Well, thank you, game, for that. See what I mean? They just messed it up because they didn't pay enough attention to the balance and post... Uh, I don't know. Just the game testing in general. They really needed more testing, that's all they needed. They had all the content, all of the art style, all of the text, dialogue, story, everything was in the game. And stupid deaths like that should be avoided all the time. Not encouraged, I think the game encourages you to have stupid deaths like that. Oh, come on. This this is so annoying, the layout is just confusing. <laughs> this is the type of game you would throw your controller on the wall just because you're so tired of all this nonsense. You know... Can I just get out of here please, I'm tired of running around. Okay, let's attempt to do this again, but come on, really, why would they... Now I'm not going to... The stupid lock-on system is going to... It's impossible to kill him with the stupid lock-on system. But you have to use it, and that's what I don't like about these games. Okay, doggy, let's go back into the arena. I don't think I can fight you over there. Or if you want to cheese... Okay, let's cheese. Wait, wait, this is the same way I killed the boar. <laughs> so the boar had problems, so this is the boar arena, and I was just sitting here at the entrance of the arena. As you can see, they they tend to bug out so fast. A gold ignat, which probably is useless to me. <laughs> okay, the system is weird. Chain effect with magic breath. I don't think breaths. Breath sounds low range or. Sounds like it's short range, I mean. I like how, how that sounds. Okay, also what I'm going to... What am I investing my abilities? Well, I guess you have to have a lot of damage. To be honest, it's not so important the speed or the skill damage rate and the astral recovery point rate. 
because you have to still attack normally so i guess i should invest a lot more points into normal attacks okay that's actually very nice so you have to have the ice uh, enchantment and then you just have to fight the dog But as you can see the reward is not really worth it. Okay, let's go back. I want to give the dog tags to that guy. Also, as you can see, there is some kind of an attempt to mark things, but you don't really understand for what. This is the guy that needs the... ...plays or something. So I don't have anything that interests him, which is again very annoying because you don't know where what items go, what item goes where. <laughs> and at some point it just becomes a chore again. That's actually pretty strong. Also, I can two shot them now. That's great. If I remember correctly, I can go into the sewers from here. I might not go to... Oh, <laughs> he damaged me with his backflip like that. Yeah, you just get lost in all of this very similar scenery. <sighs> okay, now we're actually making a little more progress. Now I'm starting to really understand the game because it's not clear in the beginning how the game should be played, but... Now it is! Hmm. So probably all of the areas are kind of like... Um, how should I put that? Uh, redundant? No, uh, redundant. All of the areas are basically locations you'll have to come back at some point or another. Ah, who knows? Maybe I'll need it. Yeah, I still don't know how to get to that place. It's probably somewhere inside the granary. I, I just find it by accident, that shortcut over here. And can you... Can you really call these things shortcuts if you don't find them? <laughs> so I'll give the developers that. They have a lot of shortcuts, they have a very intricate level design, but nobody remembers how to do this stuff. Okay, let's give the dog tags to him, maybe he'll tell us something about it. But it doesn't really make sense. This doesn't look like a... I guess... If you are a native English speaker, you will not think it's from a dog. It was from a dog, because dog tags... Well, at least modern ones have a very distinct look to them. And these are just stones. How can this humble servant be of service, friend? Also, I think I have to buy some things from him. Let's buy 10 of those and also... Oh, so this is infinite now, but it's a little more expensive. Thunder Concentrate, it's 12,000. I 
I look forward to your next visit, friend. Actually, I don't need anything from him now. Let's go. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about nonsense with you. I want Hey sweetie, what's up? To upgrade weapons. So what do I need for the spear? Oh, quenching solution. Where do you get that? I didn't see anything related to that. I can upgrade the staff. Okay, so you need a crystal nucleus for that enchantment, so you just get um, a little more damage. Crystal nucleus for the astral one. Oh, you still need stardust, it's written over Thank there. You. Okay, I guess I should just spend one hour farming and I'll do that maybe next time. Uh, probably I'll farm one hour. Bion. Is this do you? I do. This you? It was. Some did rise through the rank. They were. They don't. You're right. And that's all we get for that quest item. See? The glory of the three. The quest items seem very weak. Sometimes, I mean, all you get is that. Okay, then I don't want to bother with it. Anyway, I'll farm off camera a little bit and we'll see each other next time. Level 21. Bye.